Hello everybody and thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of What's Trending with Mike and Janina. I'm your host, Janina Trevino. And I'm your co-host, Mike Soto. And we're here to talk to you about everything that's trending all over the web with you. All right, so first on the list, how did the blizzard treat you? The blizzard treated me coldly. It was very um, chilly and rude and... <laughs> Blizzards are so rude, aren't they? They're kind of like the rudest thing on the planet because, I don't know, every time they say like, oh, there's a big storm coming, I'm always like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, whatever. And then when it's actually big, I always feel like kind of jaded. Like I didn't know it was gonna happen, but even though everyone told me it was gonna happen. It kind of catches you off guard. I know, I get what you're saying now mm -hmm. because in uh, other years where they've said, oh, there's a big blizzard coming, and then they would downgrade it to just like rainfall. And you're like, well, what a bummer. How rude, blizzard. You yeah. stood me up. Yeah, like you like RSVP for like this big blizzard event, <laughs> and then what happens, like, okay, like a little bit of snowfall, like, all right, that's like dandruff, exactly. I don't need that. Well, I had a lot of fun. What did you I do? I had a lot of fun. I went out and played in the snow, Ooh, um, you know, rolled around like a panda bear and everything. It was great. <laughs> did you make snow angels? I did. I mean, how are you going to roll around and not make a snow angel? It was pretty great. And then I helped, uh, obviously, my boyfriend shovel his car out of the snow, which was incredible because I didn't know how much work was actually put into shoveling snow. Um, you must actually really like your boyfriend because <laughs> I don't think I would be out there shoveling for my mom, my dad, my whatever. Well, you know, I... he feeds me pretty well, so I kind of have to. I kind of have well, to. Well, it's funny that you mentioned feeding because that's kind of all I did during the blizzard. I just ate. I don't blame you. That's what everybody does. I cooked and I <laughs> ate and then I ate some more and then I had like two desserts and two dinners. I felt like a hobbit. It was, yeah, it was just. It's, it kind of comes hand good. in hand. Blizzard and, you know, people don't fast during blizzards. I think they, that's like a no-no, big no-no. <laughs> so other than eating and shoveling, uh, I did do a little homework and I found out that this blizzard was actually like the second largest blizzard in recorded New York City history. Wow, also, also other cities in the eastern oh, really? coast. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it broke records, this one. Jonas, it was called, right? The Jonas Brothers, yeah. It was the, the Jonas, Jonas Brothers. Brothers. No, I think it was Blizzard. one Jonas Brother. <laughs> it which felt just like goes three to show you. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. So let's move along to reunions. So lots of reunions going on. Like my favorite, Friends. So good. Were you a fan of Friends? Um, I lived Friends. Me too. I watched every episode like twice. I. Me too. I do the theme song at karaoke. I yeah, I do. Wow. I do. I'm a. I'm, dedication yeah, to Friends. Wow. Kind of hardcore. Commitment. Loyal, <laughs> very loyal fan. I'm. I'm, I'm loving that though. I'm loving it. Um, yeah. Growing up in uh, Central America, they were really big on Friends also. Really. So after school, it was like my after school show. I got home from school. It's like. <laughs> Homework what? No, I need to watch Friends right now. Wait, so, was, it called, was it called Friends or was it called Amigos? Amigos? No, yes. it was called Friends. Oh, they okay, kept it okay. real. They kept it okay. real. <laughs> <laughs> so they are coming together. Um, sans Matthew Perry, though. Apparently Wait. they're having logistic problems and can't get him to be there. So it's going to be a two-hour special. Sans Matthew Perry, though, womp womp. I'm really sad because he was one of my favorites. Um, Chandler. Chandler, yeah. Yeah, Chandler. Chandler Bing. He was so, like, sarcastically amazing. Oh, my gosh. What? Well, he, they're trying to get him back in the show. The logistics aren't working out right now, but hopefully by February 21st on NBC is where they will air this two-hour special. It's dedicated to their director, James Burrow. It's like a, a remembrance for him. It's going to be very, very cute, a tribute. I'm so excited. I love Friends. I, I live and breathe you know, Friends. You they know, were, they were the top show for so many years, for a decade almost. Really? These people won like over a million dollars per episode. Oh, yeah. At like their latter, the latter um, mm -hmm. history of the show. The last season, they made bank. Like yeah. buku the bucks. Only, the only other show that has been able to beat them now is um, The Big Bang Theory. Oh. I'm not a fan of that one either. Uh, I'm a loyal fan to Friends. Yeah, I feel like Friends kind of like set the template for a lot of stuff, but like, I don't know, Big Bang Theory, it's... Well, you know, um, I'm facts don't lie. They're like the biggest. They're getting paid, those actors, also um, over a million per episode. Okay, so I don't yeah. know. They, they ain't no Courtney Cox Arquette, or I should say Courtney <laughs> Cox 
not in Arquette anymore. Yeah, yeah. Whoops, times change. So what's your reunion? What's your special reunion? You what's my special about? reunion? Well, I guess before I touch on my special reunion, which friend's character are you? I would have to say I would be Rachel. Totally. Rachel, Jennifer Aniston. Yes. You were, like, totally Rachel. I could see you do, like, the haircut and everything. Yeah, yeah. She was a bit of a hair snob, which I, I loved about there. But she's still down to earth. And, you know, rich. I would like to be rich, but... <laughs> Um, but still down to earth. And <laughs> so that's, how about you? Which one Me? would you be? Um, oh my gosh. Uh, I would definitely be Phoebe. Oh, Phoebe was a gem. I'm, she was yeah. so cute. I'm like weird and awkward and I like, I like smelly cats. You like smelly cats. I was just about yes. to say that. You obviously <laughs> have, it's like one, number one requirement yes. to be Phoebe. Yeah, yeah. Do you play the guitar? I used Can to. Can you do that? I used to. Smelly I could cat. Smelly cat, what are they feeding you? Smelly cat, <laughs> smelly cat, it's not your fault. You get it? You get it? Bravo, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. So, yeah. Um, so excited for that. Friends reunion, February 21st, people, mark your calendars. Excited. So excited. Okay. Um, you guys probably don't know this about me, but I'm a little bit of a Broadway nerd. Um, I would have never guessed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whether it's The Lion King or Phantom of the Opera, I've probably seen it once or twice or way too many times. So it's so cultured of you. I, I hate that you say nerd. Like that's very <laughs> cultured. Well, of him. nerds are cool now. So I guess so. If like you're a hipster. Or <laughs> uh, well, I do know that the big reunion in the Broadway scene right now is that the all entire original cast of Rent are actually doing a 20th anniversary reunion tour. Oh, wow. So yeah. they're going to be touring. Do you know what cities? And I stuff? have no idea what cities, but I'm guessing one near you. Um, Definitely, and yeah. If it <laughs> well, obviously in New York. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the big exciting one. Apparently, they actually already did a performance at BroadwayCon, which is the big Broadway convention that I didn't go to because I'm sad and I didn't go. But apparently, they had because like... Because you're sad and you didn't I, go. Basically, I'm bummed <laughs> I didn't get to go. But um, they had a reunion where they did all the songs with the original cast, and, and, and it's so exciting. I'm, I'm really, really excited. Uh, so embarrassingly enough, I've never been to a Broadway show, but I did see a reenactment of it on one of the cruises that I went on with my family, and I loved it. Even though it wasn't the real actors and anything, so this is going to be great for me um, if I get to go to see the real actors do it. Girl, if I got to see a Broadway show on a boat, I would not be here. I'd be on that boat right now. <laughs> I no, want to you know, be on a boat. They do really good. They do really good jobs. I also saw Chicago and and um, Hairspray. Oh, and, okay. You know, I fell in love with Broadway, even though it wasn't. But they, the re the actors and everything, just made it seem so real and so professional. That's Broadway on the, s like on the, great, sea. Sea. On yeah. the great Sea. Yeah, why not? That's exciting. It was really I fun. Love it was that. really fun. My first experience with Rent. Um, also, background theater geek. Um, I was in a drama club in high school, and we did like a medley of Broadway songs. And we did one with Rent. And we did the you know Seasons of Love, and we did the whole thing. I had like a little newspaper boy hat and a scarf and everything. And Aww. I think from there I was just obsessed. Did you see the movie? I did not. I didn't either. Like I said, I'm not really. I know. I didn't see all the jaws dropped behind the cameras right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be shunned after this. Um, no, I haven't. I haven't. So I'm really excited. I'm going to be able to get to see this. So did they say when around what, like, um, are they starting the tour soon? Yeah, or? I think in like the next, the next couple of months. I think you guys should probably start getting your tickets now because if you thought those Adele tickets sold out fast, <laughs> wait till you see these rent tickets. So final reunion I would love to tell you guys about is the X-Files. Do, 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 yes, do, do, the whole do, alien do, UFOs. That Agent used to Scully freak me out when I was a little kid. I, I was pretty freaked out about it too. When I heard that theme song, I would literally like start to cry. <laughs> I was... I, I, I wouldn't cry. I would kind of like pull my covers a little closer, but I was a, a fiend of okay. X-Files. Clearly, you might be an alien because <laughs> that was the scariest thing I've ever heard in my I life. I don't know. I've been told that before. I don't know. But, um... <laughs> the truth is out there, and it's sitting right next to me. <laughs> so there's some controversy revolving around this uh, X-Files reunion. Uh, apparently, 
David Duchovny is actually getting paid more than his fellow actor, Gillian Anderson. See, that just makes me so upset because there's apparent gender inequality going on. Although he, he's done a few more things, you know, you can't, you can't take that away from him. He's, he's done Californication in, in this last, um, I think he did a, another movie. I can't think of it right now, but still, that doesn't matter. She should get paid he as should. much as he does. And yeah, I, it, you, it, you can't have Mulder without Scully. You can't have, it they would come not as be a the same pair. Thing. Exactly, it would not be the same thing. So I'm confused as to why they would even have a pay discrepancy because they literally are the show. Not to mention, in the last couple of seasons of the show, David Duchovny wasn't even in it. Which means that he was paid twice as much to not be in the show. Gender inequality. Not fair. All I'm saying. Not fair. Um, but she also looks ten times better than he does right now. Oh like she my has, God. she has literally kept herself up to par. These all these years she's been hiding and like getting, I don't know. I got to see her actually live at uh, New York Comic Con. Um, apparently, she's been working the Comic Con circuit. Oh, okay. Because she's getting paid to get those nerds photographs and autographs. She is mm. making. Bank. I think she was going for like a hundred dollar picture. That's not bad. That's not That's bad. That's not bad I'm at all. <laughs> I mean, let's say you take fifty pictures in like fifteen minutes or something. Mind you, there was a line around wow. the block to see her. So well, good for her. People were excited. People were really, really excited. And there's something about that strawberry blonde though, that I think is really. She's always cute. done that, hasn't she? Well, well before it was more like red. Yeah. And before yeah. it was more redhead. Yeah, but also I guess like it wasn't like HD TV, so you couldn't see like her like roots and everything. But now it's like a little bit lighter. It's a little bit more. I think she is amazing. So good. She's she looks amazing. She's always looked amazing. So good. Um, so go Scully, and I hope that you get what you're really worth. Yeah, the truth is out there. It's called get paid. <laughs> so I know that all of you out there have been crazy about this new Netflix docu-series called Making a Murderer because I have truly been obsessed with it. It is, um, do not tell me that you haven't watched it. I, I have Netflix. <laughs> um, okay, not an excuse to not watch this. It is a very controversial um, series right now because it's about this murderer or accused, alleged murderer um, back in 2004 um, being convicted of a rape and murder, and it, th the whole drama behind it is also what makes the story, because he was convicted back in 1988, I believe it was, of a rape also, and sentenced to 18 years in prison, and then later found that he was innocent. So it's like this whole drama, this, this, um, this whole controversy behind our judicial system and the Wisconsin judicial system and how it's failed this, this man, Stephen Avery, so many times. So he got charged for rape and then they accused him of murder? He got charged with rape for 18 years, was in prison. Okay. Then got out. After 18 after years. After 18 years, they presented new evidence that found him innocent. So they exculpated him from the murder, from Ooh. the rape, I'm sorry. Are you a lawyer? What does no, that mean? I did mean? sound really good with that. Exculpated, right? <laughs> I need to look that I'm up. I'm telling you, Give this, me a this show is just <laughs> giving me legal terminology up the wahoo, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, the, the docu-series is about Teresa Halbach and this poor woman loses her life and it's a whole uh, series about the directors thinking that Wisconsin authorities have framed Stephen L. Avery. So the whole thing goes around him being framed and being sentenced to life in prison without parole. Oh my gosh, that sounds like prime. It is drama, drama, let me tell you. And now the prosecution attorney of Wisconsin, Ken Kratz, which I'm not a fan of, he, they just, they, they, they convey him in the series to be like the epitome of evil. Mm. So they did a really good job at that. That's why I don't like him. And uh, <laughs> he is now writing a book. Apparently he wants to give a second voice to Teresa Halbach. Mm. So we'll see how that goes. And there's like Twitter wars going on with the directors and him and, and, and Stephen Avery's old girlfriend. So you guys need to catch up with this because it's something that's real life. And it's what's going on right now. Everybody's talking about it. So the big question is, do you think he did it? I think that you, when you go into court, 
you are innocent until proven guilty. That's how our system here works. So once you, you introduce Stephen Avery, that, like they did in the docu-series, as a, oh, we already think he's, he's um, guilty, mm. I think that's not exhausting our judicial system correctly. Mm -hmm. So that's what I think. I think that he's innocent until proven guilty, and the evidence was very, very shady. Well, it's been really fun to know that uh, on the side, Janina moonlights as a lawyer <laughs> and a prosecutor and a judge and jury. I'm and telling you, this docu series <laughs> is what got me. It got me totally. I'm, I'm saying words that I didn't even know Exculpate. I, ex existed in my mind. And, Exculpate you know? is the word of the day. <laughs> Exculpate, uh, guys. Yes. Go look it up and use it in a sentence today. I'm you sure everybody's going to look at you like you are the smartest person, and I'm really not, but, you know. <laughs> I feel smarter just sitting next to her. <laughs> so, last on our trending news is Cocktails with Chloe. Are you watching Cocktails with Chloe? I promise you, I am not the biggest Kardashian fan. I'm not, I don't stand for them. I'm not like losing sleep over what's happening with them. I, Nobody should. Yeah, no, I'm not like obsessed. But um, I really like the show. I, I only saw a couple minutes of it, but it was really, it was fun and kind of dumb and, and just... It's definitely a guilty pleasure. It's not like you're going to get anything from the show, but, you know, it's cute. It's cute. I thought it was cute. I mean, like, I like I liked the guests. I like Aisha Tyler from The Talk. I, um, she is. She was one of, yeah, and Snoop Dogg, of course. Snoop Dogg, yeah, yeah, yeah. Snoop Dogg. I, I didn't actually get up to his apart, but I'm assuming there was lots of, like, weed cocktails or something. Gin and juice, actually. <laughs> Gin and juice. There oh, were. duh. duh. Laid I, know. Back. I thought that was very clever of them. <laughs> clever with a K. Clever with a K. This time you can have it, girls. Their ratings were out the roof they did very well a lot of people were tuning in and watching whose ratings on? except except their twitter feed and the hashtag cocktails with chloe were not uh, not up to par at all was it not what's trending with mike and janina <laughs> <laughs> all i have to say is i hope that you get more episodes chloe but give us some more substance give us something that's you know a little more informative Less blonde and ditzy and Beverly Hills rich girl. I thought it was weird that she didn't actually give the ingredients for the cocktails. Because I yes, thought- Yes, they do. do they? No, yeah, but they do. They, but like they have a chef. They don't actually show like, this is one part one this, ounce, one part one this, ounce, one part this, one part yeah. this, one part this. Because I need, I'm very mechanical when I make my cocktails. I have like a little stir and a little like measuring Well, that's how, yeah, that's everything. how specialty cocktails are supposed to be made. Yeah. But I guess, you know, they don't want to give their secrets, which fine. All right, guys, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much for joining us. And stay tuned for another episode of What's Trending with Mike and Janina. Bye. Bye.